So we're making cinnamon roll bites today with some biscuits. Cut the biscuits into four pieces, guys. Here's the biscuits that I used, y'all. Let's appreciate this wordplay. Butter tasting us and better tasting because butter make it taste better. Butter make it taste better. Shout out to Diera and Diera only. Okay, a teaspoon of cinnamon. Sprinkle that on. And then you take a half a cup of brown sugar. I use light brown sugar. Sprinkle that on. Mix it up like that. Got it looking like some Aunt Annie's pretzels. Put it in a baking pan. Okay. And then get two tablespoons of melted butter. Pour it throughout the pan. Okay, pour it, pour it, pour it up, pour it up. There you go, get every drop. We don't waste food around here. Two tablespoons of melted butter again. A tablespoon of real vanilla. A tablespoon of some milk, that's optional. Mix it up. And then you're just gonna, okay. <laughs> Add a cup of powdered sugar to that. Mix that up. Now you have the glaze. You can pour the glaze on before or after you bake it. I did it before I baked it. And it just kind of, I don't know, it just gets soaked up and it tastes so good. And it makes it a little crispier. So then put it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake it for like 20 to 25 minutes. I did 20 minutes. Then take it out, and y'all already know how to make the glaze. So if you want to make some more glaze and put it on top, then there you go. And I got this recipe from a Facebook group, y'all. Y'all ain't got to join them because I got you.